Are you having fun jamming, dude? <laughs> He's been out here for probably 20, 30 minutes just jamming to the music. <laughs> nice. Have fun, baby. Alrighty, so I wanted to show y'all one of our chicky boos. Um, we lovingly named her Quayo because she's the chick that had been attacked a long time ago and we spent at least a month, if not two months, daily bringing her from the coop and putting her in um, a secured kennel cage outside while she was healing. She had had essentially the skin on her neck pulled down. Um, I think she was attacked over on the other side of the fence, which is the neighbor's property, by some sort of animal because she was the last one of the six chicks from our first natural hatchings um, that made it. So she was the only one that survived the predators and we um, applied some infused oil on her neck and prayed for the best and she healed but she is now secure in a cage again because yesterday um, we didn't see her when we were putting chickens up and Justin found her and she had had um, some of her her wound that had healed over the skin was looking nice as you can see her feathers were coming back um, but she had a couple of spots of, um, of blood. So she had been attacked and we weren't sure what did that. But then we, because it was nighttime, we put her in the chicken coop with the rest of the chickens. And before I even like walked all the way back to the house, I heard her um, squealing, squawking. And I ran in there yelling because at least four of the other hens had started attacking her and so um, I got them away from her and um, went ahead and pulled her out and just put her in this enclosure so that she can be by herself until um, she heals again because they had pecked at her enough that they actually pulled down some of her skin so um, I, once again I applied an infused oil I'll probably apply some more today but she seems to be doing well. She seems to be feeling well. She's got energy. I've been spoiling her and treating her with all kinds of stuff. Um, and I say her, this, it could be a he. Um, she is not a sex link chicken. So we don't know what sex this chicky boo will be until um, she's about five or six months old. But we're really hoping it's a female because we don't need another rooster around here. But she and I um, have had a pretty pretty special bond the last several months um, once I finally started letting her out and not keeping her in that kennel cage every day um, she and I would go around the yard and we would find grasshoppers and she will eat them right out of my hand and we actually had a video a little bit ago where she took a grasshopper out of my hand so I say she's feeling all right but she is kind of her energy's low she's her body's fighting her body's trying to heal um, from her two attacks from yesterday so I know that's kind of gruesome but unfortunately that's the reality on the homestead um, but I love this chicky boo because she's pretty special um, I like the bond we have I can put her on my shoulder and she'll stay in there for a bit um, she lets me catch her and hold her so um, we're going to do the best we can for this sweet one, um, and we'll keep her in here until she's healed well enough that um, we can comfortably let her be with the other chickens again. Um, and yeah, we just don't want her to have to keep going through the same process over and over and over again. So this time we will probably wait until she actually has feathers covering her full neck so there's not exposed skin so that the other chickens don't get crazy ideas. Anyway, hope y'all have a blessed day. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, even though I know it's kind of gruesome. But um, I hope you've learned that, you know, when you do 
uh, spend extra time and extra care with chickens you can create some really neat bonds with them um, and they're definitely worth worth um, taking that extra time for uh, yeah just spending time with them and helping them heal and and getting them the best life you possibly can Alrighty, I think I've rambled enough y'all have a blessed day hope to see you again soon thank you for joining us here at Cooker Hoofed God bless